Hi everyone, welcome back to our series of uh, physics-based blockchain node deployments. And today, uh, in our session, we're going to choose Phantom Blockchain Protocol um, as the choice uh, for many of you out there. So, let me go right in and show you how uh, we can make use of Phantom with help of Z. So, if anybody uh, has not yet seen our previous videos, I would highly recommend that you check out our Z overview of what other different components that Zeev has within it, uh, what do all of these uh, uh, objects uh, signify within your Zeev account, and how best you can understand your deployments and, and subscriptions management as well. So I would highly recommend you go through that. And uh, today we'll just go ahead with a quick deployment of uh, Phantom. As you can see, we've got a network deployed here already, but we're gonna see how to deploy a fresh one. So I'm going to click here on create network coming into my dedicated node section and I can see that I have a phantom uh, subscription which I bought already. So if you already have one, you can go ahead with that. But let's say if you are not able to see any subscription as of yet, you can uh, just go ahead and click on buy subscription. And from here, you can see uh, phantom as a protocol. It says do it yourself, which means it's fully uh, automated uh, for you to make use of. You can select the cloud configurations for which you want to buy. Uh, you can also select the node type, which might be relevant for you. For Phantom, we support full node, but for a lot of protocols, we also support archive as well as taking nodes, uh, which might be relevant for you. You can select the number of nodes that you want to purchase for uh, and just click on subscribe from this point onwards. So if you said bring your own cloud, we also have a bunch of clouds offering. Um, I just select manage cloud for the time being and go ahead next. So as you can see that it takes me to a subscription uh, from from this point onwards, I can just go ahead and uh, buy my subscription itself. But I already have a subscription place. So I'll just go ahead and continue with that. Uh, but this is basically how you can uh, buy a subscription for Phantom protocol. Once you have your subscription in place, you can go ahead and click on create network game. And this time you can select the subscription, uh, which is suitable for your deployment. So I have a BYOC digital ocean based deployment of full node for Phantom. And here, if I just select the name of the network, so I can name this network anything relevant for myself, uh, while you will choose the public blockchain network of it. This is just for the purpose of uh, representing your nodes into uh, Z dashboards. So I'm going to just write here Phantom uh, demo, let's say. And uh, I can choose my type of the network, whether it's testnet or mainnet. So let me just go ahead and set testnet. Or let's say if I want to do development uh, using this node, uh, a testnet, would, testnet network would come in handy. And I can see the deployment type, which is native, as it is for much of the public blockchain protocols. So native where a VM based deployment would take place for my node. I can choose the workspace uh, where I want this network to be present. And I can set public nodes here, but you can set anything which might be relevant for you. Again, workspace are a clean way for you to maintain your resources at one place and manage their permissions accordingly. Then I can see a bunch of configurations which are very specific to Phantom. And uh, I can choose an RPC credentials to start with. So I'm just gonna right here, a user admin. I'm gonna put a strong password in place for my IPC username. And it just needs to abide by the password policy. And then I can choose a node name. So let me just call it Phantom Node A. And you may want to create multiple nodes, you may want to have a simple node based on your based on your strategy. Uh, multiple nodes may uh, give you the benefit of failover uh, for your nodes as well. Uh, you can select what kind of service do you want to enable on this node. So uh, Phantom supports both HTTP and WebSocket. So you can go ahead and enable both of them. 
and you can also select what kind of modules what kind of rpc apis do you want to enable onto uh, the rpc uh, server so i'm going to select here uh, debug and admin whatever might be relevant for you you can select those options out uh, ziv already checks some of the boxes which might be uh, very much relevant for uh, many of you out there so i'm going to go ahead and click next and then right after that at the, on the very last step i can see cloud configurations and uh, this is where i can select the region of deployment so based on the cloud that i've chosen i can see the different regions and uh, i can also select my cloud account uh, which might be there so it allows you to authorize multiple of your cloud accounts if you want to do your deployment that way and i'll just select mine here i can again see the name of the node and i can set the instance type which might be relevant for my deployment so uh, for phantom i'm going to keep it small for the time being but uh, uh, zeev lets you know uh, what is the recommended uh, instance type for your deployments and for uh, every blockchain protocol in itself so one good thing about zeev is that many of our customers get um, access to bring your own cloud feature uh, while others may just want to use see vanish we also have bring your own cloud feature which is uh, specific to uh, the requirement of enterprises where they want to deploy the nodes in their own infrastructure with might be aws or gcp they can configure their own cloud accounts and choose to deployment there but it's a, a demand based feature for anybody who's looking out for such a thing but zeev manage keeps it simple so you don't have to worry about cloud board server and you can just go ahead with the deployment directly so we have a phantom demo uh, node deployed it takes uh, some minutes for it to spawn the vm uh, within the chosen cloud so the time that it takes uh, depends upon the cloud that we have chosen and beyond which it will set up the node uh, download your snapshot and start ready uh, reading all the endpoints for yourself uh, we don't have to wait for the phantom node to come up we already have a network deployed here and if we just quickly go through the screen you can see that is a single node network we can choose to add uh more more nodes here by picking up actions so you can add more nodes to this network just to maintain them in a neat way again within a network you can choose to delete the network as well and you can see a little bit of graphical representation that i'm playing around with for my phantom node uh when when multiple of them pop up all of them are connected to each other and they're always talking so none of your node Uh, has this issue of not being synced or into other one you always get the uh, consistent data from your blockchain nodes uh, you can see the cloud that where this node is deployed on you can see the endpoint uh, of it as well when you click on view endpoint you can see the details of the endpoint you can even copy uh, that url you can see the number of blocks that this node is currently on uh, you can also see some bit of uh, connection strings uh, present here you can choose the language for which you might want to see the a uh, connection code for to how to connect to your node um you can also do some actions like stop restart as well as look at the analytics of this node uh delete the node and also the status of this node uh, itself if i just quickly show you the analytics of this node um you see that zeev captures a lot of monitoring um and metrics uh, which are at the system level but also at the blockchain level for phantom So you can see the CPU, RAM, swap, root FS, uh, memory, uh, network I/O, and all the relevant details which are specific to your system uh, where this node is running. And uh, also, if you choose to do so, you can also just go ahead and uh, open your blockchain metrics, where we capture a lot of details coming out of the node directly for the purpose of uh, uh, again uh, analytics as well as to show you alerts. So you can see the chain head. You can see the latest block header, uh, latest received block count, uh, transaction pool, any executable transactions which might be present at the moment, local transactions might be present with just with your node, the block processing time, transaction provision, all the relevant bits which are very uh, uh, important for your blockchain node of uh, Phantom in particular. So Zeev captures these specific blockchain metrics on every protocol, and it puts it out there for our Uh, customers for you folks for our support team so that you don't have to open these dashboards all the time you can get alerts directly from zeev uh, for for any of the metrics if it's if it is not healthy so let's say if your node is not syncing blocks for last 
minute or so we will let you know that there's something off about your setup uh, your node is not syncing clocks uh, for a good time already or let's say if the number of peers goes down uh, below a certain threshold then again uh, you know z will provide you an alert that the number of peers is not healthy uh, and the data uh, syncing on your node might be slowed down because of this and maybe you want to uh, take a look onto this as well so it provides you all the good alerts onto blockchain as well as on system metrics so let's say tomorrow uh, your cpu ram or the disk of your node uh, goes beyond a certain threshold and again z will be able to help you out uh, to resolve such an issue and you can scale your uh, node again from z platform ui in itself so that's a little bit on how what kind of specific features do we provide to phantom and uh, apart from this you know the good part is that it takes care of the standard deployment on your behalf uh, it makes sure that the endpoints are all secure and you can have the best performance when it comes to accessing the nodes for your data in itself so uh, you can choose the region but apart from that also you just tries to make sure that the latency as is as minimal as possible for your dedicated nodes itself so that's a little bit about uh, our platform for uh, phantom but again as i mentioned uh, we've also got a bunch of the services uh, that we've previously mentioned in our uh, older series uh, where we provide rpc api endpoints so let's say if you do not want a dedicated node for yourself you can go ahead and click on rpc api endpoints you can see i've got a bunch of them created already and you can in a few click just go ahead and create a uh, uh, an RPC endpoint selecting the protocol of Phantom in itself. So it's just as easy as that. And after this, you will get uh, an RPC point endpoint of Phantom. So let me just go ahead and show you that as well. And again, select the workspace for which network you want this endpoint to be created. Uh, you can choose if you want to secure this endpoint further uh by adding a jwt based check as well so you can configure your jwt public key while the private key uh, will just decide with you into your application i'll choose to skip this one uh, for the time being but you can anytime come back to this and, and see it by yourself so phantom is the new endpoint we, that we just created in a couple of clicks and you can configure this endpoint uh, into your account into your application wherever you might want to use it without having to set up a dedicated node uh, whatsoever. So we will provide you with the metrics. You can see the analytics of it, what kind of methods that you have been calling. You can choose to change the security of your endpoint as well. Uh, and you can see both HTTP and WebSocket uh, based connection strings. So that's a little bit of gist. Uh, and this should really cut down a lot of time. Ziv again has most of these services free for you already. And uh, API endpoints, is something that you get 10 million API credits for uh, from the point that you sign up onto the platform in itself. That should be sufficient for anybody who's looking to start uh, with Phantom blockchain protocol in themselves. That's uh, all about Phantom. And uh, please look forward to our other video series, video sessions about different blockchain protocols that we are always making. Uh, some protocol might be uh, very relevant for you folks, for your project and uh, you might want to look into what Zeev has to offer there. So uh, at the very last bit, I'd say that uh, continue to follow us on our, all our social handles. Uh, we're present on uh, pretty much every social platform as of now. We've got a big Discord community going at the moment. We've got a uh, good presence on LinkedIn as well as Telegram uh, and uh, Instagram and other social platforms as well. So thanks for joining in and see you next time in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.